call yourself a bloody zombie? Loads of money! One geezer. Okay, welcome back everybody to the stream. Are you here with me, Flux? Yeah, hey, mate. There you go. Okay, people, we're at the last stream for today. It's 9 p.m. and we're going for Team Gobshite. And they're playing on a French server here. Um, let's have a look. Are they all six there, Flux? Um, four of them are live, if that's what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> basically yes. Okay. Um, well, people, it's time for the map rotation, so let's have a ch check what we're going to pull there. <laughs> See what we pull today. Uh, so far, we're getting 29 people. Uh, they seem quite excited for this last game, seeing obviously the results. Hmm. Okay, we got Bet. We got. They want to get Icebreaker. Okay, we got uh, Bedlam selected here for the last team. Oh, really? Yep, we have. Be interesting. I'm very happy that it was not Suburbia again. <laughs> <laughs> I got me is the map I dislike Apple for. Okay. Is the stream working, uh, Flux? Uh, that's a no one. Yeah, it is. They can. They've just told you. Okay, there we go. This team is called Team Gobshite, and uh, this is the last team for today. The leader is Rock here. Let's see, we got a Firebird here. Must be written up quite quick, actually. They are actually going for a different overall loadout from what my team and obviously um, previous team has well done as well. Yeah. Uh, to apologize, I can't remember which team that was. There we go, we started the team ramps off. And I see a split up here. Oh! Yeah, okay. You're going to the right now. One goes front, taking some ammo. Oh, see, is we got one fiber. What Terminator? Since when, since when is Arnold involved in this? <laughs> well, we better see some good play. Good play <laughs> I'll be watching out for that aimbot. <laughs> I mean, oh, really Paul is getting necked there by the clutch. <laughs> Paul, wow. Did you what saw that? Say is, the first 35 seconds, one's down.
fears, guys. I see like I'm getting the blame for all this. <laughs> so they're actually taking a very different place to what I expected. Yep. Very dark, so I can understand why they got the, uh, the fire bug. It helps a lot with the vision. They got three sharpshooters. It's not the greatest place for three sharpshooters. Yeah, that's true. We are actually well, quiet. the guy who tanked it was Paul, and did he drop something on the ground there? Quite curious. Oh, he just dropped a knife. Um, Jenna, who's actually the uh, the leader of this team? Uh, they're actually asking who's the leader. Ah, it's Rock, the sharpshooter. Oh, Rock. Yes, guys. So it's actually R O G or Rog, as I think he likes to be pronounced. No idea how he speak it directly, I just come rock. <laughs> Guys, I like your uh, captions with my name there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Turbo was saying that this is what happens when they don't have a fox capacitor. Hmm. So, um, the stream is perfectly right? People can see it? Yeah, they seem to be happy with what's going on. No complaints so far. Okay, that's great. Um, have you mentioned already about the uh, part after this? Um, I did get a slight sneak peek asking if they actually were enjoying what they're uh, what's going on so far. Okay. They said they're really happy to be both in game and watching. So it's a big thumbs up already so far. Okay, nice. So cheers, guys. Um, I also gave them said that you know afterwards what we do we announce uh, what's actually some information for later. So obviously they just gotta keep uh, keep watching. Yeah, we're gonna. Don't spoil too much. Okay, if you look at the time, people, it's now roughly you no know, ten minutes over nine. I would say around 10 o'clock we finish, and when we finish, half an hour later we're going to put the stream up, and it's going to be about the prices, um, the results, the future of the tournament and what's coming more, so if you want to be more involved, I would say watch the stream. Even if you didn't enter the tournament, you can still watch it, because um, it might be interesting for you. <laughs> Stand still, you clown. It's raining money. Damn it, balls out, boys. Now, there is also one thing I did notice while they're doing the training game, just people. Uh, Paul does not have any communication with this team, so he, he had pretty much he's going by their binds. Hmm. Obviously, run, gets the trader, you know. Yep. Is he able to follow him? So I far on the first map, he wasn't able to. Yeah. I don't see a lot of structure with this team yet. Yeah, I mean, they do seem rather confused at the moment, I believe. I think they're trying to find the fast space, which can be risky. I mean, I did this uh, with Bobby and his team on health. It ended up we did pay, pay up a bit too much. I mean, obviously, there's only so much you can take. Yeah. I do believe this is why they've got. Yeah, you know, the firebug, the commando, and free drops because they can clear out so quick yeah. at oh, such oh, a pace. Paul get, gets hit again. <laughs> Did you fool here, Paul? <laughs> no, but um, yeah, let's see where they hang out. This is a big of different spot every time. Yeah, I haven't seen that before. A team picking a spot every wave at a different spot. Yeah, I mean. It's I mean, uh, obviously uh, some of the training games that I did. Obviously, I know I've mentioned them quite a bit, but obviously everyone's going through the same thing. We tried to see if the different spots were working, and yeah. we find a slow spot. It affects you really hard that way. Then we find a fast one, you have to really pick it up. So yeah. if you're training constantly, you can't fix up every wave. What is wrong with the what with what happened? The only thing you can do is if you move on again. You know, you're just kind of by pot luck. Is it going to be fast? Is it going to be slow? Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, for the other person, uh, two people won the Easter egg. Uh, one of them got a reward already. Other one, we tried to take contact with, but no response yet. So uh, get get back to us because we won't, don't want to forget it. Uh, may I ask which one uh, was the one who got it? Ah, uh, got. Buffy or Turbo? 
I think it was Steffi. Yeah. Steffi, I say, so Turbo, you know, I know you're back now, so just make sure you just um, contact Mark after this. Yeah, and uh, claim your rewards because it's yours. Okay, so it's from what some of the chats are uh, going through, which is something I never considered, they're saying so for the strategy it seems like they're camping out the trader. So they go to the trader and they'll camp where their next trade is going to be. It's an uh, incredible funny spot, but oh boy, it's it's getting so uh, crowded here, you know? Yeah, I mean, it, there's two rooms. You've got the right side, which is, has a very fast pace. The left side, they can get jumped really easy. Now, the room on the left, I consider is a good spot. You, you need to have the people to know where the crawlers drop, you know, where they come from and all that sort of thing, so yeah. you don't get jumped too much. But I find extremely dangerous on this spot. Oh, trader, what a lucky guy, huh? There you go. I mean. They're actually going to each trader before actually, you know, getting the wave sorted. Yeah. Are they actually moving to the next one now, or is this their spot? Yeah, the trouble is, it could be really, um, it's not just very risky, but it's going to be very tricky, because if you get shoved onto a trader, you need to know where that trader is next. Yeah. And for them to know that, they need to wait for the timer to go, and then move. If they're moving and they get trapped halfway to it, yeah. that could be game over within seconds. Seven minutes, wave three. Very good. Yeah, this is this is exactly what uh, proving my point. You know, look at the damage they're taking just by going from one room to another. They still need to go through all the hallways where they have spawns all around them. Yeah. I'm still hearing people getting hit. Oh, go, Ter Terminator guy. was there, necked by a siren. Teams are getting a little bit lower in health, but there's, there's no medic, so that's also interesting. There we go. Okay, so now they're starting to realize they have to do something. Yep. Hot Qualos there. Oh, it's getting tight here, boys. Diamond coming in. It did not so much damage, but you know, it, it did a bit. This is the problem. They, they took the risk. They found out it's a bad idea. They have to fix it. The issue is they have lost overall two people in three waves. Indeed. It's not the best statistic straight away. But once again, as you can see, the helps are not being healed. Yep. It seems like the, no, the communication isn't really there still. I mean, you can still see calls typing. I can understand. <laughs> you must have already had this like pre made, so obviously there's. Funny interaction there with the boys. Um, Boom Man, no, they haven't actually changed their perks. Uh, they're still standards to um, what they were in the start. Yeah, I, see, I don't see any change. Now I wonder where this trader is because would they try and see if they can afford the, the, the trader camp again or hmm. I wouldn't actually try to see what they're actually planning on this because they try the new tactic, it doesn't work. So it was quick, but it has been costly. Yeah. Where well, as you can see we're just about to hit ten minutes, you know, just about to finish wave three. Good time. But like I said, it's it is costly now. Indeed. Oh, getting to the trade already, see?
There's one left. Is it visible? Is he stuck? Uh, it oh, should be stuck. Oh, it should be. It, there's a clot down, coming down near the trader. So uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, I see. Come on, boys! Time to buy some guns. Get rid, get rid of your water pistols and buy some real stuff now. Okay, governor. Oh, I would like a war pistol right now. You see. <laughs> and a quick start already. So we have actually got a comment here. Um, that is very risky with three sharpshooters. Um. Now. Actually, you know what? Let's. I don't know what. Okay, so I have no clue what they're gonna. I'm not, I have no clue what they're gonna do. You know, I'm gonna stick around. They're gonna. Are they gonna pull that thing what they did earlier again? You know. Yeah. I, I, mean, I do think they're gonna sit in this corner. I mean, we've got three sharps here, man. Left, right. It's 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 a, it's a good gardens. Okay, so for the person who actually said that is very risky, uh, risky for the three sharps, you give us a bit of exploration. So obviously, you know. Give everyone else a bit more of a, an idea of what maybe you would like to do. Yeah. Okay, so what we've got is one of each perk on the left side. Uh, one doing shops on the right. Maybe. See, one thing I have noticed on this map through what I did and obviously watching, the right side gets most of the attention. And the left side obviously gets, you know, quite a hefty lot, but they tend to be grouping more than the le than the right side. Yeah, you, w what you see happening a little bit is that the commando is pretty much sometimes on his own, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and if later game he gets left on his own, I'm expecting the other guys to be legging it down that way as fast as they can because they're not going to be able to actually do much. If I were them, I would say get a support to the right, not at the front. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have to agree with this. I mean, the support should be on the right side, whereas the two support uh, structures and the flame pro will be on the left. There's one problem with that though: is you're putting sharpshooters um, teamed up with a firebug. <laughs> You've got a lot of vision lost there. Indeed. So it's going to get a bit awkward. We'll just see how they do. On the shower, we are starting to see some differences in the in the uh, sharpshoot loadouts. One yep. of them has got the musket. Hmm. Uh, Vasanti also does have the hand cannon. Can't even see because he's so dark. Yes, he does have a hand cannon. It's an interesting to see. I mean, when I play myself sharp, you know, it's it's how you see. basically some people just. You know, skill this great flash bound, that kind of, that's great, but if you're if you can pull it off, you know, you can actually be in the top three, you know? Exactly. I mean in my personal experience, a decent sharpshooter can be number one. He can outdo a commander. Yep. But obviously, you know, if you have the same skill type onto the commander, you know, the commander should at least be doubling everyone else or, you know, getting a good few hundred ahead. Yep. But hey, the thing is that, you know, as sharp you can play a bigger role than most people think and Oh, most definitely. Okay, so actually push it here has actually got some, you know, good ideas. I mean, some people have said about, you know, they got their demos, so they ain't going to be able to do much in the first half. Hmm. But, you got three sharpshooters. You know, they're very high hedge, uh, headshot damage dealers. Yeah, I wonder if they one... They can take down the second. Oh, yes. I wonder if... Uh, I'll choose to see a different route here, but okay. Um, it's gonna be interesting if they're gonna buy the sniper one, you know, and you know what? what the M99. Yeah, or they're gonna go for crossbows only. Very interesting choice. Personally, if they're gonna go for an M99, that would have to be forced onto the Patriot wave. As a, we can try and shove it like six or seven shots on two sharpshooters and that have the third one as a backup. Yeah, that's one thing here that you get advanced with sharps. You know, three sharps with crossbow. That's a killer for the pet. You know. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, but um, also Push was also sad about you know some ideas he might think about some of the loadouts. 
Mm -hmm. um, one of them was uh, ex the crossbow as well as the M14. You know, safest flesh built hand kill. Yeah. Obviously, it's going to be two different types. But um, one chance you're having the M14 and the musket. I can see exactly why that happens. I mean, personally, I found out the, the musket does a lot more damage and reloads faster than the lever action. Yeah. I'm going to leave you one minute alone here, Flux. I'll be back on you very soon. No problem. Yeah, guys, what I mean, overall, what do you see of the musket? I mean, obviously, some of you may not use it, obviously, you may not have the DLC, but what do you think of it so far compared to the lever action? Which one would you go for? A little bit damaged, not too much. We are starting to see the scrapes coming. Bit of misfire from the person with the. Uh... Ah, okay, so we have got some communication problems by the sounds of it in this. Could that make a massive factor in this? It seems like I can actually hear this uh, scrape on the left side again. It does seem like, you know, the sharpshooters seem to know. Lever action and musket is straight away from the scrapes. But, they are wasting a lot of ammo because they are missing quite a bit. Could they maybe compensate there for a later game? Never know. Especially when he hits the flash bands, they're not going to be able to do that as effective. Okay, I'm back, Flux. Welcome back. Thank you. Thank you very much. So, still wave 5, huh? Yeah, wave 5, we've had two scrapes, I believe, on the left. I'm not too sure about on the right. I don't think there has been one, but... Um, no, that's so far, I'm unimpressed with the way they've done it. There's one guy, number 3 terminal, he's got, got quite a high ping compared to the rest. Yeah, and he's actually not making that much of a difference, uh, which is terminating. You know, he's got 181 kills. He did die on yeah. wave 3, I believe. Something like that, yeah. And he's still, you know, very high up in the kills, you know. 40 away from the top. So he's, play he's definitely playing a major part in this. But for those who are actually saying about the firebugs, he's rather useless. When you look at this game, I'm seeing, you know, firebug has to be used in certain ways. That's true. Look at look about scoring. Do you see now the sharpest at top? At top number one? On exactly. The I mean, <laughs> the commando is actually matching him. You know, that's, that means you've got to well, shoot generally with two good players there. Hmm. I mean, if Rogue, which is the top, so, but if he can keep this up, oh, he can carry the team to go ahead. Is this true what he says? Is this a, I've seen the flare guns used earlier. Um, what, on the... Yeah. Enough, it is they're good. I mean, I don't know what other people think, but I personally think they're overpowered. I mean, I have actually nerfed them in my own server. Yeah. But their headshot damage is rather high. I'm going to say rather high is really good for a, for a pistol, let alone for burn damage on top. Hmm. Oh, now the one seeing flares are there. Yeah, uh, so I didn't see. One of them actually did go down to 54 health. What was it yesterday? One guy also had the uh, flares, you know? So I, I think I he had a single flare. Hmm. Oh, ammo, some ammo there. Let's see if they see it. And yeah, they don't see it. It's raining money. There we go, people. Wait. 19 minutes here at wave 5. Or wave 6. I must say... They do have quite a bit of cash. I mean, they just had one uh, terminating with the firebox. He had two over two thousand on him. Holly, hmm. uh, the commander who was above him, he also had one and a half thousand. So they are racking up a lot of cash with all the um, the assists they're getting. Because obviously you get extra cash for doing assists. I didn't. Oh, they didn't skip any time now. They went for the full one. Now this is going to be very risky. I mean, if you can see their position, this is a death trap. This spot. They're speed running by the looks of it to get to the main you know, batch of the spawn. There's two people coming back so far. I see only two well, people I can on only site. Find four. Two people now at the spawn. Okay, so the other four people are actually around on the right side. 
and they're actually like two rooms apart. Okay, the rest are catching up now. Oh! This is very risky. Siren there. Oh, there we go. That did a lot of damage there. Yes, yeah, so as you can see, four of them were instantly put down to half health. Just she was... by entering that one room. Yeah. Siren did her job, she was a bitch. But I mean, kind of the worst part here is, I'm still not... Oh, okay, so now they are slightly, slightly starting to uh, look at each other's health and starting to use it. Hmm. The first Quake has arrived, well, I'm not sure it's the first one, but... I mean, I've even got someone saying here that they're not hitting each other as often as they should. I completely agree. I mean, we really, I mean, a few others have also noticed that the communication is not really 100%. I mean, it's probably around about the 60%, you know, not to be in harsh of the team. We, said, we kind of saw in the beginning when some get necked, you know? Oh yeah, exactly. I mean, some of them obviously are not, there's no, um, uh, bush chat, but it does seem like, you know, there's no real, they haven't noticed, if someone does these, um, binds, the other ones that would know exactly what I mean, like, with the run, let's get to the trade up, yeah. that sort of thing. Um, Philo, for your question, uh, can you explain exactly what you mean? And I'll see you get back again and then I'll ask it for you. Also, uh, Lucky Jits, uh, sorry, not Lucky, uh, Hunter, just, um,